and welcome to Petrol Ped and a beautiful, beautiful day in the South Downs. And behind me is a car that I think is going to mess my hair up really badly. So behind me is an Aerial Atom 300, a friend of mine's car. We met up today. I've, I've only ever been in one of these once on a high speed passenger lap. It frightened the bejesus out of me and I've been desperate to kind of experience one on the public road ever since. So here we are at Goodwood. We're going to take a good look around the outside of this car and then I think I'm going to go up the road and have my hair reworked. I've even got my cycling shades on today to stop the bugs flying in my eyes and I'm sure I'll have a few bugs on my teeth by the end of the day. This should be good. Let's go. I don't know how much you guys know about aerial atoms, but these things are the ultimate track day weapon. So in the back of this car, we've basically got the Honda Civic Type R engine. Strapped to that is a supercharger, kicking out something like 310 brake horsepower in a car that weighs just over 500 kilos. So this is just to demonstrate just how light an aerial atom is. <laughs> that is awesome. Um, you guys do the maths and the power to weight ratio. Phenomenal performance of this thing. Um, and then the, the other things I just love about them is there's just so little bodywork. You can see all the mechanics of the car. You can see these adjustable Bilstein dampers at the front. You can see the pedal box from the side. There's just nothing to it. I just think it's absolutely stunning. A real work of art. I love this kind of exposed uh, uh, external, it's look, almost like an exoskeleton. It's fantastic. So I think the next thing we need to do is get this car on the road and go for a drive. <laughs> so here we are guys, this is Chris, who's a fantastic car, thank you for uh, giving me my first proper aerial atom experience. Uh, we're going to go for a bit of a drive, now there's two things you need to know about this. First thing, mounting cameras on this car is particularly difficult, so we managed to get this one. I've got my lapel mic to see if we can reduce wind noise, but we'll kind of see. I reckon so that's going to be quite... Uh, yeah, it's quite annoying. Um, but I haven't got any external cameras, but we are going to try and get some tracking shots. So, off we go. Let's go. <laughs> so this car gets quite a bit of attention. Not for the... Uh... So as we come out of the car park, the instant thing, if you've never been in one of these, is you can see everything. I can see the steering column going down and the universal joints that lead it into the steering rack. So this car has a non-standard exhaust and it's very loud. <laughs> oh yeah.
car fast. It's got so much power. And it's just so light, you can feel it skipping around everywhere. But the noise it makes, the suction through that intake and the supercharger winding up. Jesus.
again, wheel spin into the third gear. It would be rude of us not to try a 0 to 60 test. So, go. three, two, one, go! <laughs> Three, two, one, go! <laughs> acceleration this thing it just pushes and pushes and pushes we're getting wheel spin in third gear and it's a hot summer's day and the road surface is dry it's an absolute animal but it's bloody good fun about what a car jesus i have to say a massive thanks to chris i'll put his instagram account below woodyspedia amazing thank you buddy Welcome. yeah absolutely Cheers. awesome oh so i hope you've enjoyed that if you have done so give me a thumbs up comments below are always welcome and if you haven't done so already Please subscribe to Petroped for plenty more content to come. Maybe not as noisy, but oh, I'm gonna go home now and just brush my hair and wipe a few bugs out of my teeth. But I'll see you on the next film, guys. You take care, drive safe.